Okay, comparison method. This is how the post hoc analysis is done. So post hoc analysis meaning um, if we performed the initial ANOVA and found that the result was statistically significant, less than 0.05, telling me that a difference does exist. This comparison method, the post hoc analysis, tells me where that difference is. Yeah, so it's going to compare each of the groups pairwise and say yes or no, there is a difference between this group. Um, plots, I like to change the plots. Um, mostly because I don't know what these two plots mean. Um, so it just includes a box plot because it's easy to interpret. Yeah? No need for the other ones. They all show Excuse me, sir. Actually, I didn't find the primary data. Can you see it? Repeat it again. Yes, yeah, sir. It's a data section. How you select the primary data? Yes, sir. So where is from? Depending where you saved it. It's uh, different. Yeah? So this is going to be a more of a library you've saved it. I'll come and have a look at that for you. Alright, so let's run these results. So again, back to this. First thing we're doing now, we've run the one way and over, is checking whether variances are equal. So let's have a look at these results. This tells me the results of the ANOVA, the standard ANOVA. Ignore that for now because we don't know whether we can use it. This here is the result for Levine's test for homogeneity of variance. So again, this test, the null hypothesis, says variances are equal. Alternative hypothesis means variances are not equal. So p-value greater than 0.05 means yes, we have equal variances. So all of the assumptions of our ANOVA are met. Normal distribution, variance is equal. So we can go up now and interpret this result, which is 0.3242, greater than the significance level. So we'd say that there is no difference between the groups. If this was less than 0.05, use this result. Yeah, this is Welsh's ANOVA, which is variance weighted and doesn't assume. Again, just to talk you through these results a little bit more. Let's say that this was a significant p-value, less than 0.05. So we'd conclude then that there is a difference. At which point, we go down to the post hoc analysis, which is this part here. So the way I do the first row, this tells me the p-value of a test is less than the difference between group 1 and group 2. Um, so let's say group 2 and group 3 has a p-value of 0.832, greater than the significance level, meaning we reject that there's a difference between 3 and 2, um, and in fact you do that for all of these groups, which is in line with the results we had at the start. Is that okay? Yes. You only need to do this once, so... Uh, have you got Blackboard open anyway? Uh, no, sir, it's... So Blackboard open. You do have the library. Um, you just got to look for it. So wherever this is, Tim. Sir, yes, sir. This is okay. Brilliant. All materials. Week one. Synchronous. Setting up SAS on demand. This is your enrollment code. set up a library view that's going to be linked to the data that's provided, so the path is going to be in files, my shared file links, this one, and recreate this at startup, and now you can call it wherever you want. So as you go into, let's say, distribution analysis, Where's the one you just created? Library. What did you call it? Sir, I said test data. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yes, this one. Okay. Have a look through. Primary school. Thank you. 